Hey everyone, it is Ebony. I am back and as you guys know, every time there is a start of a new year, people want to embark on new journeys and start new ventures and start new businesses. And today's video is to help those that want to start a business, in particular, a business in which they customize clothing with cute photos or quotes or what have you not. So when this company decided to reach out to me, this is an Amazon company, wanted me to review their heat press machine. I said, you know what, this would be very beneficial to some of the people that watch me on YouTube. So this video is basically going to be a video to review their heat press machine. And I hope you guys find this video helpful. Okay, y'all, so this is me at my office unboxing the machine. I will say that it is recommended on the package that two people put this together, but I found it to be pretty lightweight and it was very easy to put together. This heat press is made with quality, it's very sturdy. You can tell that it's not gonna break anytime soon. And like I said, it was very simple and easy to put together. It comes with this extremely detailed manual so you know exactly what temperature to put it on and how to use the machine. And I had to test out the lever to see how easy it was to open and close and it was very easy. I realized I did not have any material or anything to show you guys how it worked. So I went to my local Dollar Tree and they had these iron on transfers. So I got one from there in a t-shirt and then I headed back to my office so that I can actually put this machine to use. And here I am the following day. Basically, it was really easy to get this process started. I put the shirt on top of the padded, um, they have like this padded, uh, I don't know what to call it, but there's padding at the bottom. So you just place it on top of there. Y'all, for some reason, my machine started beeping and I was like, ooh, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Turns out, you're supposed to turn on the machine and set the heat and the timer before you close down on the top of the machine. So I went in and did it correctly. I continued to follow the settings on the manual and the settings from the iron on transfer. Um, the iron on transfer thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and it came out perfectly. And just to give you a little rundown about this company, the company is called Vever, Viver. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They basically manufacture and produce products that help those who are DIYers. So people like you and me that like to create their own things that are very hands-on and crafty, and they just like putting stuff together. Um, so they specialize in creating DIY tools for people like us. So if I can give my overall review of this heat press machine, I'm gonna give it an A plus. Honestly, I've never used any other heat machine before. So maybe it's not fair of me to give a rating because I can't compare it to anything else, but being that it is brand new to me and I've never used a machine like this before, I give it such a high rating because it's just so easy to use. I'm thinking that you're gonna have to apply a lot of pressure or that the equipment itself is gonna be super heavy and it wasn't. Surprisingly, it wasn't as heavy as I thought it would be. Me, by myself, I was able to put the machine apart, figure out how to work it. It was very 
easy to work and put together. The temperature setting makes it so easy. So you can set the temperature based off the type of fabric that you're using. And then it has a timer that kind of, you know, helps you keep an eye on what you're doing, making sure you're not gonna overheat the images that you're pressing onto a t-shirt or whatever product that you have. So as far as my expectations, my expectations have been met. Now this was an industry that I entertained way before I even started my hair extension business. When, with me just being a single mother and looking for different sources of income, one of the first businesses that seemed like it would be easy to start and easy to get into was a custom t-shirt business. Something that I always wanted to do, never did it, and now I have the tool, the tool that I would need if I, <laughs> and now I'm able to like experience what that process would be like. It means so much to me. I don't know, maybe your girl might pursue a t-shirt line or something. <laughs> or something, even if it's just cute DIY shirts, cause my son, he's in sports, so I might make like a cute DIY shirt that says mom rooting for number 18 or something like that cute. I don't know, I do not know, but I'm so excited to have this item. Um, if anybody's interested in this business, there's a lot of amazing YouTube videos on how to start a custom t-shirt business. I will link those videos in the description box. I have not researched this industry in years, okay? So any piece of advice I can give you on starting this particular business is likely outdated. So I'm just gonna give, um, look up some YouTube videos and the ones that I like the best and the ones I feel are most helpful, I'm gonna leave in the description box down below. But I definitely enjoy using this product that was sent to me, this heat press. It is nice and affordable and it's on Amazon, our favorite company. So if you're interested, I will make sure to include the link to this product in the description box as well. Thanks so much for watching y'all and I will see y'all next time.